Welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we are going to be talking about the new creature which is coming to Ark Survival Ascended on the map Ragnarok for Ark Survival Ascended. Now yes, I'm slightly late to this news just because I was away just catching up with bits now and sharing it with you guys and we're going to talk through some of its uh, potential abilities that are going to come to the game, everything like that, how the voting worked and uh, yes, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Um, I did a video earlier today pretty much talking about stuff that is happening with Survival Ascended, um, you know, so I recommend you uh, well check out my last video because it's got lots of stuff to do with like what like, how there could be a delay and you know just just classic arc life really um so if you guys do enjoy today's video smash that like button subscribe if you're new and uh, let's get in with the video um so it was the community creature vote winner um you may have seen in my last video it was the Gi giganto raptor um it has it with over forty eight thousand votes um it won out of all those votes which was for me it was probably one of the most strangest like voting sort of in the creature vote that we've had before like i really didn't expect it to be like this um before in the past like one creature sort of dominated it for pretty much most of the time whereas this was just such a change over the like over the weeks uh, well i think it was over a week of voting um so yeah uh, this will be added in and they said we're looking forward to sharing its concept and dossier in the weeks to come so yeah probably within the next like week or well i'd say between like one to three weeks we'll see its concept concept art we'll see the dossier pretty much stuff that wildcard will be working on um so giganto raptor um let's see how the voting worked for it should load up the page now so this is round one so in round one it was third um and to be honest i was really shocked when i saw this because like um i mean the giraffe was eliminated first and it did stay sort of in like the top three i think for pretty much the whole time but look at the way things were changing on this list i mean it was really odd to see uh, i mean I, I was surprised to see the cheetah being number one the whole time uh the giganteraptor sort of jumped ahead into second after that then at round seven was only the time where it only just jumped into third and then then by round eight it had absolutely flown ahead and then it was so close towards the end and i find that like crazy about like how uh you know how this how this how this worked it, it was only with 51 percent of the votes as well um which is crazy i i've just found it really odd it's never been like that before there was always just such a i mean this is the detailed round by round results as you can see um you know just how they all got eliminated is very close between those two there um and the not the not the nothrosaurus hopefully i know some people say i get it wrong that absolutely flew in the first round of making it into the top 10 and it finished fifth look it was eliminated by round six yeah round six it only got eight thousand eight and four hundred so very very strange i mean giganta raptor did come very close uh, at the top of mine but only went to number one after uh so this one just it just took me by surprise so much so um yeah congratulations to the person who uh threw the idea in there um this will be coming to arc uh survival ascended for ragnarok no idea when that's going to be released but i think the new roadmap is going to explain a lot about that kind of stuff so if we then head over to the gigantoraptor we can read it all through and talk to you guys um about it because pretty much a lot of the stuff oh some the creator actually put the gigantoraptor has one thanks to everyone for the uh, whopping support can't wait to see this big old bird child in the game um so yeah a lot of the abilities stay the same but some don't if it's way too o o op so oh this is the post here um so gigantoraptor has one thanks to everyone for the whopping support i can't wait to see my big old bird child in in arc survival ascended all i need is for it to stay fluffy hopefully a large portion of mechanics can translate over to if wildcard can find a way to balance them correctly um and they say yes semi-automatic imprinting is strong but i never liked the idea turning uh turning uh, the idea of turning a video game into a chore i agree with that um so this is all about it so the battle nanny is back seeing as the concept was so well liked last time in the creature contest this is it so 
The Gigantoraptor would be a breeder's best friend, offering an improvement for, uh, for play no matter the game mode. With wild dino babies, breed, uh, breeding quality of life, and various other features coming to Ark Survival Ascended, the new addition of this creature could really improve the lives of so many dedicated breeders. Again, not all mechanics are guaranteed. However, Wildcard seems to pre preserve general vibes of the creatures submitted to these contests. And given how much the Sky Giga shares mechanics with its fan concept, I don't think it's too outlandish to see the G-Raptor or the Gigantoraptor share some too. I feel like I've done my best to balance the creature um, through feedback both for PvP and PvP play. Uh, lots of the previous contents winners have all been about combat and damage. And while I love me a good dirty carnivore, it's nice to see the focus shift onto a more utility focused omnivore. Um, so this is the table of context, artwork, dossier text, potential base stats, spawning, taming, ability and controls and supplementary links. So the artwork was a massive thank you to ZCI5250 for creating a fully fledged dossier of the Gigantoraptor. ZCI is an incredible artist and even more incredible friend. I'm happy, I'm beyond happy to see how much the community is enjoying the submission. Hopefully this time we'll get to see it and you will. <laughs> so I'll be putting my original concept art in the supplementary links. Um, uh, and my concepts okay yeah so this this let's have a look so this was the dossier for it absolutely amazing dossier um again i always love it when one of the dossiers win uh, one of the creatures win that have a dossier that is like the artwork is put so dedicated into it and looks so much like the original um because uh you know it just looks great and i love that so the Gigantoraptor would jo join the UT, uh, the UT um, being a fully feathered medium to large theropod. It would also have a dramatic sexual di uh, dimorphism. Sorry. <laughs> um, males sporting huge display feathers on their shoulders and an elaborate patterns on their tall, uh, tail fans. This would make it really stand out among the other theropods in the game, bringing a new group of dinosaurs usually shown as mostly scaly combat oriented creatures in Ark. Yes, this creature has combat abilities, but it's far from your usual bruiser slash chomper you're used to seeing in Ark. It's a fully, uh, fully fledged battle bird. With the graphical and technical upgrades we could expect from Asa in Unreal Engine 5, a large fully feathered creature like the Gigantoraptor would look incredible. I'd love to see how detailed and dynamic feathering would look with the new improved textures. Could you imagine seeing the weight of this big coat of feathers as, it, as, it gi as the giant stomps around the map? Interestingly enough, there were there um, actually aren't other dinosaurs, I mean the grouping, not creatures in general. In the game, they uh, uh, in the game that would share the omnivore diet with a Gigantoraptor. So I guess it's kind of unique to see what it eats too. So yeah, that looks fantastic. So this is the dossier. So the Gigantoraptor is a quite uh, quite peculiar theropod with its formidable claws and strong kicking legs. This Allosaurus-sized theropod almost appears like an apex predator. However, in most cases, this doting parent is never seen far from its mate and clutch of eggs. Their bond seems to run far deeper than any species I've observed as uh, whenever they perceive their brood to be in danger. It manifests into a rush of adrenaline dubbed Mother's Fury. This allows them to grapple with th uh, threats far larger than any animals their size. I guess there's nothing more powerful than a mother's love. Domesticated. Short of the incredibly dangerous task of stealing an egg from the nest, it seems the best way to gain the trust of these parents is to lend a hand. Nesting individuals tend to get quite hungry, spending so much energy protecting their brood, so they will happily accept food from humans. However, predators will take their chance to steal an egg while they eat. One must defend the nest from these pesty foes, but once they are dispelled, your efforts will be rewarded. Both parents will happily follow you home, trusting someone that cares as much as they do about their young. Gigantoraptor make for the pers uh, perfect nursery aid, as, um, uh, as their um, naturally protective nature extends to any egg or newborn, even of vastly different species. I've noticed them playing with all manner of babies, imprinting them with the scent of their owners. 
Some tribes go as far as utilizing teams of Procoptodon to carry babies into the battlefield to power up the Gigantoraptors, activating a mother's fury to turn the tide of battle. So potential base stats of spawning, 750 health, 275 stamina, 150 oxygen, 3000 food, 380 weight, and then C abilities in control section for damage values with a torpidity of 950. The Gigantoraptor would always spawn in mate boosted pairs with both individuals being the same level. One member of the pair would randomly be assigned to sit at the top of the nest structure while the others move freely about, freely about nearby. Ragnarok offers a variety of habitats that the Gigantoraptor would fit right into. Lush canyons, dense redwoods, and desert oasis. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, would be prime locations for these protective parents to live. Um, so the taming, the Gigantoraptor has two taming methods offering its own advantages and disadvantages. So the egg steal or an OSD styled nest defense. So this would be the unique tame me method would be you to offer a meal to the hungry parents sitting uh, uh, sitting on this nest. This part of the taming method would function like a conventional passive tame. The foods that the Gigantoraptor would accept in order of preference are superior kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat and crops. Though I see it requiring exceptional kibble, kibble giving its powerful abilities. Being a small survivor, you're able to approach the nest on foot as the doting parents don't see you as a threat. However, don't run right in. Rushing towards the nest might aggravate the parents, so calmly walk up to the nest uh, individual to avoid spooking them and feed them to start the taming process. That sounds absolutely amazing. And look at the details put into it. So we're going to go down to abilities and controls now. I've considered um, applications for both PvP and PvE play with the Gigantoraptor. While I have done my best to balance them for both for official play, please know that these are only potential ideas and the Gigantoraptor's mechanics could always be balanced according to what Wildcard sees fit. Um, so firstly, it would join the Maywing and Procoptodon as an invaluable nursing, a nursery aid, functioning like a blend of an air conditioner and, an S, and the S Plus Nanny mod. Um, incubating eggs drop near it um uh yeah sorry Inc yeah, yeah. feeding babies too young to eat from troughs and helping to imprint on growing dinosaurs by completing cuddle interval requests and of course it require the relevant food and imprinting comfort foods for its respective actions so for example if a baby asks for a prime meat jerky as comfort food it will require prime meat jerky to successfully raise the imprinting percent I'm a huge fan of this. So in terms of controls, the left click, a double claw swipe hits twice for 30 base damage each, each swing. While slowish, it, it, it's a big AOE. It's big AOE makes it a great, it makes it great for dealing with large targets of or small groups. And this can harvest meat. It has a powerful click, which had, deals a heavy knockback, which is the right click. C is a simple peck attack. Uh, this hits mu much faster than the claw swipe and is better suited to with dealing with singular targets with a 35 base damage and, and harvest berries. Spacebar is a basic jump and the X is a raw slash taunt um, and it will flare its feathers to give a, a, a shrill cry purely cosmetic. So this Gigantoraptor is amazing. Like it's, it's, there's so much information into this and great art as, art as well by gabriel here in the supplementary links um just to kind of get an idea of what this is going to look like and i've actually done a little bit of research as well on the gigantoraptor and what it was like actually in real life and i'm so proud to see this has actually made it and i'm not complaining whatsoever i feel like this is a great addition to the game and i completely agree that as much as we all love massive carnivores you cannot go wrong as there's going to be so many new creatures added to the game to have this as a official creature in Ark Survival Ascended. Anyway, guys, that is the news. Um, that is our new creature for Ragnarok. As you can see, Aberration is coming up next. So watch out for that. Lots to look forward to. Very excited Friday to see what's going on with the release date or, or what just the plan is in the new roadmap update. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video very soon.